So let's start learning about the directory structures of Nux.js by going to this package.json file. First thing, if you go on package.json file, you will see that there are lots of scripts are there. So yes, dev script is for development. Whenever we are developing our application, then we will run npm run dev. So why not run it? So it's running and we know that it will open the server on localhost 3000. Then we have a build command. This build command actually compile or create our application in a standalone format and then we can simply use npm start to start the application which was built by this build script then generate yeah obviously we know this generate uh, command or generate script will going to generate the static pages for our application and similarly if you want to link your application and pre-commit and these kind of things and obviously the test <laughs> with eva these things are good but the first thing we can see on the dependencies is cross env for creating the development environment for us but uh, most important part is nuxt this we are going to create a nuxt application so we need nuxt and if you are following me from the first episode you know that we have created a nuxt application from scratch just by including this only nothing else so after that we have this express you know express.js a uh, framework for node.js that is we are going to use and where this is actually situated where our server is created or node.js server is created so for that if you go on this directory structure you have a folder or directory called server inside that you will have a simple file called index.js where you are going to start your express server you can see we are importing express then we are creating an application of the express then we are here somewhere <laughs> yeah app.use and then app.listen to the port and host and obviously if you are familiar with express.js this is simply saying okay start the server so this is start but where this port and host came from this came from our configuration and nuxt options so whenever we are creating a new nuxt obviously this nuxt is also imported here from nuxt and then it is saying that okay load the configuration but where is the configuration so you can see we are loading the configuration from nuxt config.js file where this js file is okay so again on this directory structure you can see from the last we have the fourth file called nuxt.config.js and now if we can open this file we have lots of uh, uh, configurations related to nuxt and we will obviously going to understand this later but you can see these called configuration are exported and that exactly we are requiring here so let's just close it and yeah this configuration is here then first thing we are checking do we have a production mode or development mode so config.dev is going to define by this line and i think this is going to be used somewhere yeah here so build only in dev so if we are on dev that means development then we are going to build a new builder otherwise we will say okay ready that means if we are on development mode then suddenly we need to build as soon as we run that development npm run dev just like this which is compiling you can see and as soon as this is going to be finished it will build your application or start the server but when you are on production you need to just say nuxt ready and then you need to run npm start this command to actually start the server so that's what we are defining here so after having that development environment and actually after having all your configuration we are saying okay a start function is there which actually we are using here at the last so this function is going to be executed 
just after we have finished this uh, function so we are using this function and in that function we are saying okay create a new nuxt app and load all the configuration from this nuxt.config.js uh, file then from that we are picking up the host and port and then deciding the uh, build options and then we are saying okay use that port and host to start listening to our express server so this is how your node server or express server is created on your next application and if you are using obviously if you are using universal application then you are going to use these kind of things otherwise if you are just going to create a single page application you don't have to worry about these things but it's always better to use universal application so in the next episode let's move forward understanding these things and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye